Chapter 26 The Temple Guards These are the assignments of work for the Levites who served as temple guards. From the clan of Korah, there was Mishalemiah, son of Kore, of the family of Asaph. He had seven sons, listed in order of age. Zechariah, Jediel, Zebediah, Jathniel, Elam, Johohanan, and Elioenai. There was also Obed-Edom, whom God blessed by giving him eight sons, listed in order of age. Shemaiah, Jehazabad, Joah, Sakhar, Nethanel, Amiel, Issachar, and Peulathai. Obed-Edom's oldest son, Shemaiah, had six sons, Othni, Raphael, Obed, Elzabad, Elihu, and Samachiah. They were important men in their clan because of their great ability. The last two were especially talented. Obed-Edom's family furnished a total of 62 highly qualified men for this work. Mishalemiah's family furnished 18 qualified men. From the clan of Merari, there was Hosah, who had four sons. Shimri, his father made him the leader, even though he was not the oldest son. Hilkiah, Tebaliah, and Zechariah. In all, there were 13 members of Hosah's family who were temple guards. The temple guards were divided into groups according to families, and they were assigned duties in the temple, just as the other Levites were. Each family, regardless of size, drew lots to see which gate it would be responsible for. Shelemiah drew the east gate, and his son Zechariah, a man who always gave good advice, drew the north gate. Obed-Edom was allotted the south gate, and his sons were allotted to guard the storerooms. Shuphim and Hosah were allotted the west gate and the Shalaketh gate on the upper road. Guard duty was divided into assigned periods, one after another. On the east, six guards were on duty each day, on the north four, and on the south four. Four guards were stationed at the storerooms daily, two at each storeroom. Near the western pavilion, there were four guards by the road and two at the pavilion itself. This is the assignment of guard duty to the clans of Korah and the clan of Merari. Other Temple Duties Others of their fellow Levites were in charge of the temple treasury and the storerooms for gifts dedicated to God. Ladan, one of the sons of Gershon, was the ancestor of several family groups, including the family of his son Jehiel. Ladan's two other sons, Zethem and Joel, had charge of the temple treasury and storerooms. Duties were also assigned to the descendants of Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. Shebuel, of the clan of Moses' son Gershom, was the chief official responsible for the temple treasury. Through Gershom's brother Eleazar, he was related to Shelomith. Eleazar was the father of Rehabiah, who was the father of Jeshiah, the father of Joram, the father of Zikri, the father of Shelomith. Shelomith and the members of his family were in charge of all the gifts dedicated to God by King David, the heads of families, leaders of clan groups, and army officers. They took some of the loot they captured in battle and dedicated it for use in the temple. Shelomith and his family were in charge of everything that had been dedicated for use in the temple, including the gifts brought by the prophet Samuel, by King Saul, by Abner son of Ner, and by Joab son of Zeruiah. Duties of other Levites. Among the descendants of Izar, Kenaniah and his sons were assigned administrative duties, keeping records and settling disputes for the people of Israel. Among the descendants of Hebron, Hashabiah and 1,700 of his relatives, all outstanding men, were put in charge of the administration of all religious and civil matters in Israel west of the Jordan River. Jeriah was the leader of the descendants of Hebron. In the fortieth year that David was king, an investigation was made of the family line of Hebron's descendants, and outstanding soldiers belonging to this family were found living at Jazer in the territory of Gilead. King David chose 2,700 outstanding heads of families from Jeriah's relatives and put them in charge of administering all religious and civil matters in Israel east of the Jordan River, the territories of Reuben, Gad, and East Manasseh.